This is a quick demo of Everlands, my favorite game on the Android phone, and it's also available for the iPhone, and it's currently on sale. Um, this is the first map that you get with the paid version, it's called Loose Hippo, and I'm going to show you a quick solution to beat it. Hippo is very tough because his special ability allows him to absorb damage, so my raccoon, even though he has two attack, only hit him for one. Uh, because you have to beat Hippo during this map, you have to focus on attacking him or you'll definitely lose. Um, notice how I let the bear get hit so that he'd have three attack instead of two. Um, and also, at this point, I have to attack the hippo or, he's, or I'm going to lose the map. The AI is smart enough to block him. Now, to take the hedgehog, I decided to put a bear next to him, and so the bear gets hit first, and then his attack goes up to three, and then he takes the hedgehog, but because the hedgehog only has three hits. Um, at this point, I decided to use beaver, because beaver gives my adjacent units one extra hit point, so just to make it a little bit stronger and make sure that the enemy can't take them. He decided to use beaver too, so I stuck a leopard in the middle, because leopard can attack before anybody else, so he was able to take beaver before he could hurt him. Now over on this side, they put a mouse, so I decided to put another leopard and take the raccoon in the middle. And then the enemy decides to put another mouse below the first mouse, and putting two mice next to each other makes them stronger. Which is one of their special abilities. And couple more strategically placed pieces, and there you go. 62%. My best on this map is 81%. Here's the tail end of my best playthrough of Endgame, the final map of Everlands. Let me tell you, this is a seriously difficult map to beat. I am so confident in my Everlands skill that I'm willing to issue an official worldwide Ben Chan challenge starting today. Purchase the full version of Everlands for a dollar, which is on sale right now, then tie or beat my score of 78% on Endgame, and I will hook you up on Chamber Hymns with free online access to both our Chan Brothers CD and Christmas CD. That's right, all you have to do is tie my score, which is definitely possible. In order to claim your prize, you must provide me with a screenshot or camera picture of your score. This picture must be taken with the board visible so I can see your map setup. You will be disqualified if your picture looks identical to any previous entries. You can either post your picture on my Facebook page or email it to bennettchamberhymns.com with your Chamber Hymns account email and the picture as an attachment. Now guys, I'm extremely confident that very few of you will be able to even tie my endgame score. I'm so confident, in fact, that I will let up to 50 people claim a prize. Seriously, for just a dollar and an incredible playing experience, you guys cannot turn down my offer. A huge thanks to Hexage for creating this amazing game. I've sunk at least 40 hours into it, perfecting my strategies on every map, and I'll provide everyone with my top scores so you can try to beat them. The Ben Chan challenge only applies to Endgame, but if you do happen to beat any of my other scores, I want to know how you did it. And if you have trouble beating any particular map, please let me know and I'll be happy to give you assistance. And Happy New Year to everyone, and I will see you on Chamber Hymns.